Bourbon, pure Kentucky gold. Some people drink it, others cook with it, and then there are some who just enjoy the bourbon experience. My name is Chaz Rao, and I live in bourbon country. Join me as we hit the trail in the heart of Kentucky. This is Bourbon Living. Main Street, downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Until the 1920s, a portion of Main Street was known as Whiskey Row when as many as 50 distilleries were active. Today, the bourbon industry is booming and many distilleries are coming back to Main Street. In this episode, I'll be meeting with my friend Stacy Yates, who knows the bourbon industry inside and out. We're gonna tour the Evan Williams experience and followed by that, we're gonna go to Down One Bourbon Bar where we're gonna have food and drink and we're gonna have an in-depth discussion about bourbon on Main Street. So, let's hit the trail. Located on downtown Louisville's historic Whiskey Row, the Evan Williams Bourbon Experience features an artisanal distillery, guided tours, educational bourbon tastings, and more. Celebrating the legacy of Evan Williams, Kentucky's first commercial distiller, this immersed experience brings to life the history and tradition of Kentucky's native spirit. Whether you're a bourbon enthusiast or looking for something exciting to do in the city, come for a taste of bourbon's rich history. You'll step back in time to 1783 and experience life and distilling as it was in the early days of the Republic. The guided tour features an operating artisanal distillery where you will not only learn the process for making bourbon, but you will see it being made right before your eyes. Medicinal bourbon? Oh, yeah. I need a prescription of that right now. And then there was that thing called prohibition. Ah, oh, finally, the bourbon. The smell, the taste, the ambiance, the history. Oh, let's not forget the chocolate. Now it's time to do some shopping. Bourbon. More bourbon. Bourbon eggnog. Bourbon jam. And yes, even more bourbon. Now, before we get into this whole scenario of what we got in front of us, I need to bring in Christian. He's the manager, general manager of Down One here on Main Street. Now, Christian, tell me, what do we have here in front of us? We have the drinks and we have some food. Well, first off, the drink is called Seven Across the Board. And if you pick up that glass and kind of turn it towards you, we're gonna release a little bit of smoke. Ooh. And then we'll take the Jeez. carafe and drop the ice into the carafe and then pour the drink. No, no, just yeah. pour it, just pour just it, pour like it. grab the whole carafe. And as you tip it over, the ice will fall in, and then we'll pour the drink in. And then what you have is Angel's Envy, blackberries, raspberry sage simple syrup, and smoke. And that's called a seven across the board. Wow. It's available here at the bar all the time. Yeah. And then food-wise, um, oh, we brought so out a uh, pork belly that's roasted with a bourbon glaze, a bourbon uh, molasses glaze, a fried egg, three potato hash. Cheers. Enjoy it. Thank you, Christian. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, with all this in front of us, let's let's talk about bourbon on Main Street. It's as you know the the bourbon industry is exploding. It's just becoming this machine that just has gone from us. It's it's done really well over the past few years, but over the past two years, it's really expanded. And I tell people from a 1.4 billion to 3.1 billion, correct? I believe so. Around there, yeah, and it's it's, um, it's just. Growing. It's amazing. It's um, really the perfect storm. Um, you know, the the most exciting thing to me, I think, is that it is such an authentic, historic product. You know, it's um, 
200 years in the making mm -hmm. uh, here in Kentucky. And, and largely, if you talk to a lot of historians, Louisville was really the epicenter of the bourbon universe, as one of my favorite bourbon historians, Mike Beach, um, likes to say. Whiskey Row was, was roughly defined um, from about Campbell, I believe, to 10th Street, again, on Main Street and Market Street. That, that was what was called Whiskey Row. So these developers were very smart and visionary and decided to take that name and attach it to their building. Uh, and it's they, the first people that started really using that again in any sort of marketing or promotion was the Whiskey Row Lofts development mm -hmm. uh, right on the corner across yep. from uh, the new arena. So when I think when the arena came in as well, it drew some attention to that. So now let's fast forward a little bit. There's a lot of things going on. I think the resurgence of Evan Williams bringing in their distillery downtown, they actually do distill on property, you know, very small amount. Right. But there's a couple of other major players coming into the game, one on the, really the east exciting. and one on the west. And that was Michter's. Um, this is an old brand. Which is across from Louisville Slugger. Mm -hmm. They decided they wanted to open their own distillery again. Uh, and there was no better place to do that than the birthplace of bourbon. Um, and they wanted to do it also in downtown Louisville. So now at the other end, we have Angel's Envy, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and they were an early announcer too. Uh, they run into some delays as well, but um, I'm hoping to see them open in the next year. Um, they bought property across from the other Slugger, um, the Slugger, Slugger Field. Uh, Field. So we kind of have bourbon properties from Slugger to Slugger now. And to me, the most exciting of all is that Brown Foreman has bought into this development and is going to take uh, three of the buildings, I believe, and make it a home place for one of my favorite brands, Louisville's Bourbon, their Old Forester brand that's been around since the 1870s. So Chaz, so we've talked about the distilleries that, um, like Evan Williams, that are online already. Um, Old Forester coming, Angels Envy coming, Michter's coming. There's so much to do. There's the Urban Bourbon Trail that's the culinary side. There's Bourbon Barrel Foods that you can visit and take a cooking class. All the information on how to plan a trip to Louisville, the gateway to bourbon country, is on our website at bourboncountry.com. Well, Stacy. Great conversation as always. I think it's time we finish up our great drinks and we got some great food here. So I'll see you on the trail real soon. Cheers.